Hey everybody, this is N... not NB, that's my old name, it's, it's Ozuma. <clears throat> I mean, let me take a moment to explain the whole situation to you. Uh, basically, I've been trying to record Bastion for a week now. Uh, the same episode over and over, about 11 times. Um, the nature of Bastion is that since it auto-saves and it's really hard to back up stuff, is that if you don't back up properly, and your Steam Cloud is acting all wonky, um, and you mess up a recording, it means that you gotta play through the whole game up until that point, again, before you can start recording again. So basically I've played through the game up until my last video's point 11 times, and then the two levels afterwards, Pith Orchard and Cinderbrick Fort, have basically been causing a bunch of really strange and just frustrating problems for my recording. Uh, I mean, obviously you've watched, if you, well, I don't say, I won't say that you've watched my other videos, but um, obviously I have them uploaded, so those videos are fine. No, you're not doing that long, Mulana. Uh, the intro's not that important, but um, what else? But yeah, I'm just going to put Bash in a hiatus for now. I mean, I do like the game, but it's I don't like the first few levels anymore because I've played through them so often. Anyway, let's turn the music a little higher. I think it's a little low. Put on 22. 22 is good. Anyway, uh, this is Ozuma, and I'm going to be playing La Milana. The curtain rises on our archaeological adventure. Finally, I reached La Milana. The adventure starts here. Now let's break this here. It's ten coins. Always ten coins. No more, no less. And here's Elder Zilpud. He is welcoming us to La Mulana, or the village near La Mulana. And he's talking about how our father already went in, and how La Mulana is dangerous and secretive and mysterious, and how there's lots of dangers, and how I should take a weight with me. And then he is shamelessly plugging Japan's technological abilities and oh yeah he's gonna give me this piece of software for my laptop uh, I don't know if you guys have watched La Mulana before but uh, basically they switch a lot of stuff around as you can see that there's no more game ROMs um, but instead they replace it with software, and whenever you install software, sometimes it has an effect on your laptop itself. For example, this piece of software installs the Zelpud mailer, which lets me receive emails from Zelpud, which are basically little hints. Um, you can only receive emails, though. You can't send them to Zelpud. Let's just take a quick tour of the surface. Actually, let me go by the handy scanner. That's not the handy scanner. Take it. Okay, and then you... End. The menu system's a little different, and it's gonna take me some getting used to. But I did do a little bit of a testing with the surface, just so I know what I'm doing. I remember you from the original Lava Lana. Birds. I just really like how they upgraded everything. It looks nice. I mean, don't get me wrong, the original La Mulana game has a definite charm and is probably still more difficult than this just because the controls just feel more... I don't know, it feels more... I mean, they translate the controls really nicely, but it just feels more smooth. And that's probably in part due to the graphics. But, uh, let's get the shell horn here. Shell horn. Shellhorn basically plays a tone whenever I solve a puzzle or something. To let me know that I solved a puzzle. Because in this game, sometimes you'll solve a puzzle and you don't know that you solved a puzzle. I'm not gonna go to the falls yet, just because if I do, I'm probably gonna die. Right now I'm just gonna farm a few weights. Hopefully it doesn't take that long. But most of the puzzles do involve using these weights on pedestals. So it's good to have a few on hand. Come on. The other thing is, you don't get experience from just killing enemies anymore, you have to pick up those green orbs. 
And the way experience works is basically, if you fill up enough experience, then you regain all your health. Which is useful, but it's hard to really time correctly. They also made it so that you only need to collect your maximum amount of health and experience to regain all your health. In the original La Mulana, you had to regain the whole bar full of experience, I think. I have played not all the way through the original La Mulana, but I've played through a lot of it. Oh, come on, I really want that wave. Uh, oh, I guess I'm not getting that. Oh, well, six is enough. Go ahead and tank that snake hit. The other thing they changed is that... Well, there's lots of things that changed, but... Another thing that they changed is that to regain your health, you don't save your game and reload it anymore. You actually have a little hot spring on the far left on the surface, which I will go to right now to show you. Let's see if I can smash some pottery and get some coins too. Let's see. Ah, oh, there it is. It's a very small hot spring. Ta da! And I don't know if I find this more or less tedious, but it is different, and it does explain the whole healing process a bit more astutely, I guess. As opposed to not at all. Can't go to the left there. It's a giant, and I don't have the. Serpent Staff. Ow. I'm definitely gonna need, uh, more coins. I don't know, maybe I'll leave them first recruiting. Recurring. I'll do the first recurring right here. Um. No, no. I'll I'll go open La Mulana. Why not? I'll save inside. Yeah. Another thing that they've changed in the remake is that you can save at any of the Grail points, which is pretty nice, actually. I think that was a needed change. Well, not necessarily needed. Okay, there's that, and then here's a statue of Zelpa that they added. And behind him is one of Negro's games, Death Village. I don't know what it does, but I found it. And then of course there's this passage right here which makes it easier to get to. Zilpa's gonna send us some mail. He sent us lots of mail. Let's just read it. We all know what to do with blocks, you just push them. Those entering these ruins beware. They lurk within the land of ordeals. Death awaits the powerless. They will speak only to those who have learned the seven histories and overcome the challenges herein. Okay. I can do that. And there it is. La Mulana. Oh man. Feelings of nostalgia. These ruins are littered with traps. I lack the energy to escape. And you were so close too, Mr. Skelly. Okay, so this is why I need the glyph reader. Um, that will not be translated. Nor can I translate it without it. Get this. Sacred Orb. Sacred Orbs increase your health, and Zelpa's trying to tell us that, but I just told you so. We don't need him right now. Let's climb down the ladders very slowly. And here is the first grail point outside of the surface. And this is where I will save and end the video. Thanks for watching, and next video I'll be showing you the Guidance Gate, or the Gate of Guidance, depending on which translation you're going with. I'm gonna go with the official translation, Gate of Guidance.
Thanks for watching.